Well, uh, the mid caps are outperforming. We have a couple of stocks which are underperforming. Coffee Day, case in point, should come up for you. Currently sitting at the low point of the day and fair amount of volume traded on that stock. So down 4%. Remember, this stock was in focus on account of the Mine Tree LNT or Mine Tree stake sale to whoever that may be. Uh, however, after LNT has uh, come out with, so to say, a hostile offer, there is some sort of uncertainty with the promoters not backing that. So let's see whether that deal comes by or no, or maybe it could just be some profit taking. But for all practical purposes, uh, Coffee Day at the low point of the day has about 6,000 crores in terms of market cap. The stake that it holds in, uh, uh, in, in a mine tree is worth close to around 2,600 crores. And the debt on the company's books as of September is 4,400 crores. So the street will be wanting to know whether this deal happens or not. And once this deal happens, how much money does Coffee Day Enterprises get? And once they do get that money, what is it that they do with it? So we'll keep an eye out on how this pans out. But along with Coffee Day, all the other stocks which are under pressure, we have a lot of these two-wheeler stocks, Hero Motocorp, Aisha Motors, all of them lower in trade. As reports suggest that two-wheeler makers are set to cut production. Sonia joins in with details. Sonia, earlier it was the four-wheelers, Maruti cutting production, and now two-wheelers following suit as well. Oh yes, inventory levels are very high and this is forcing two-wheeler makers to cut production to rationalize inventory at the dealer level. Now, uh, the report suggests that two-wheeler makers will be cutting production from March up until May by about 15% and the likes of Hero, Honda and Royal Enfield will be cutting production. Bajaj Auto will not be cutting production at the moment. In fact, I reached out to the management and they indicated that they might go ahead and raise production as well in the months to come. Uh, the two-wheeler inventory levels for the industry is very high at the moment. It stands at about 80 to 90 days versus an average of 20 days. Remember, a company like Honda had already cut production in the month of December uh, in order to rationalize their inventory levels. Even if you look at the sales that we've seen for the entire industry from April to February, uh, it has been about, you know, just in single digits, less than 7% growth in this year compared to a 14% growth year on year. So slowing down of sales, uh, higher insurance costs, low retail demand, all of that has forced uh, the two-wheeler makers to cut production. Back to you. Okay, all right. Thanks so much for that, uh, Sonia. Well, uh, Goldman Sachs, they have upgraded India to overweight. Sona joins in to give us the contents of that report. Sona? Thanks a lot for that, Nigel. And yes, Goldman Sachs has upgraded the Indian markets to an overweight versus a market weight earlier. Remember, back in September, they had downgraded the markets to, an mark to a market weight because of political risks, macro risks, and also because of higher valuations. But now they have a target of 12,500 on the Nifty over next 12 months. They say that the current rally that is happening in the markets is a pre-election pre catch-up rally that is driven by the FII flows. We have been see an uptick in the FIR flows in the month of March and sub that is something they expect to sustain. They are also saying that the sharp underperformance, better quarter three earnings and the uptick that we are seeing in FII flows is, are the three reasons which is leading to the upgrade. They are expecting earnings to grow at the rate of around 16% in this year which is more than all the other emerging markets. They are also positive on banks and domestic cyclicals and they are preferring this over exporters and defensives. So overall they have a positive stance on the Indian markets. Back to you. So no, thanks a lot for that. So we'll keep an eye out on how the Indian markets pan out going forward. But meanwhile, good news coming in from uh, Granules India uh, shareholders' perspective. Promoters release pledge on one and a half crore shares, which is five and a half percent equity on March 15. Now, why is this important? Because remember, uh, the stock had fallen from 120 to about 80 from September to December on account of promoters' pledge increasing from 41% to 60%. And on March 8th, though, which is just about uh, a couple of weeks ago, the promoters did sell 50 lakh shares worth 50 crore rupees in the open market, also notified to the exchanges that they will sell 50 crore worth their personal assets and personal properties to reduce the pledge on uh, the company's stake, uh, re reduce the pledge on their stake that they hold in the company. And now with some release coming in, it means that things are on track and the stock has moved higher. Remember, before the pledge scare, the stock was at around 120, fell to levels of 80. And once this has come by, the street is giving some confidence. The stock back above that 110 mark, 116 is where it trades at. So we'll keep an eye out on how this story pans out.